shit Cause I don't think straight Mind fuck Brent is a mess She just texts my photo I answered though Could have time straight 7 a.m. There's a YKK, no viz, long five gal deep in a fold escape. She asked, man, why not turn on the heat on the seas door heat, but the case got bit. Come, come, come past my man brain, got my eyes indulging, her face looks big. Her sponsors read like Fenty, proud of Bentley, she's going insane. The gal on my mind, she run through my thoughts, I don't got none, I say I can't lie. I move on the fly, too quick for my ashes, I think I can't waste all my time. It's gone. Uh, she just want a fresh Capri Sun for the fridge by morning time. That's right. I don't want to make breakfast, I gotta wake and flick, and the cats keep calling my line. It's 7 a.m., 5 in the morning, I'm going to bed, I'm tired. Okay. If I'm running a trend. Hey guys, so, um, this is my first, like, vlog. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> when you are done watching it, please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it. Any kind of improvements I should make, something like that. Um, yeah, this is the first day in life. So this is what? Today is a Saturday. So this is a weekend or Saturday in the life of Dami. <laughs> that would probably be the title. Um, believe it or not, my Saturdays are actually more busy than my weekdays, which is crazy. Because, again, I shoot content. I go to the gym. You know, there's so many things I do typically on the weekend. Um, sometimes I have, like, family engagements I have to meet up with, all those kind of things. Um, but yeah, so what are we doing today? So today we are uh, We got a haircut. So yeah, once I go into town, I think you guys saw my train ride into town So yeah, once I go into town immediately, I went to the barber shop. Big shout out to my barber Honestly, sadly, I don't know his name. I'm gonna get his name and give him a proper shout out the next time that I record a video Because the guy comes correct. He tried something new. I'm not too sure about this not too sure. Like he he cut he reduced my mustache and then tried to blend the edges. I'm not sure. 50-50. What do you guys think? Probably speak to the women in my life so I can get their feedback. <laughs> I came out wrong. But yeah, what I would do today? Um I need to do some cooking. <laughs> I mean that sound like I'm like some expert chef. But I saw like this recipe on TikTok that I want to try. So I'll carry you guys along. Let's see how that goes. Then, um, what else again? I have a consultation meeting later in the day. Yes, just want to talk about how some people can grow their business online and then see where that goes from there. Um, yeah, what I'm cooking, I don't think I have the grocery. I don't think I have the groceries here. I don't think I have anything. So I probably have to go. I probably have to go to Tesco to get something. What else again am I doing today? I'm not going to the gym today. The gym closes at four, sadly, so I can't go to the gym today. But I'll probably take a walk. Um, I'll probably take a walk. Then I'll probably I'll just read. I'll read, do some research, <laughs> play FIFA, obviously. I do my. I need, <laughs> Should I do my laundry today or tomorrow? Let's see, let's see. But yeah, then um yeah, speaking of speaking of reading, you know, I think one of the things I want to talk about now is reading is reading is so vital and important to success, guys. You know, you need to be reading. Um yeah, there are like four books that I would definitely recommend if you're looking to get your life on track towards success if you're looking to get your life on track towards some sort of stability some sort of you know even if you are stagnant at the moment with your career with your environment you know there are certain books you would read that put your mind in the right frame put your mind in the right um, in, the, in the right direction so you know how to navigate these things um, the first book I would recommend is Atomic Habits I think that's by James Clear. Definitely, 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 everybody needs to read this book. You know, it's not a book for people that are in business or people that are digital marketers or marketers or people that have a nine to five. It's a book that everybody needs to read. It, you know, teaches you about atomic habits, you know, building that discipline for yourself, building that sort of self-respect. Um, so yeah, that's the one thing that, I that's the first book I would recommend. As I'm going about my day, I'll be giving you guys other books, but I think there are just four I have in mind that I need. I mean, like everybody needs to read these four books. You can't avoid it. 
Um, so yeah, let's let's get started. Let's get our day started. And so, when you build it and you launch it, the early users are going to tell you exactly what they want from the product because we as founders think, oh, this is the product idea. I'm going to create it and then I'm going to launch it, and the users are going to use it the way I've launched it. No, you're going to get feedback, and they will tell you, oh, this is the way we would like. This problem that you are trying to solve, this is how we would like it solved. Aren't those the same ones wishing for your goal? Tell them niggas sit down, take them what you roll. Swear I had a fit now. So I saw this particular bench. Um, this particular bench, I pass it all the time. When I'm going to the grocery store that is near my house. So I was like, you know what, today I'm going to finally record something on this bench. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't see that bottle there and I've removed it. <laughs> but yeah, so um, book number two. Um, book number two is one that talks about social relationships. Um, people buy from people. They don't necessarily buy from business or some sort of you know entity they buy from people and that's because people in a particular business are social whether we like it or not that's one way that's one way that we all have to look at it in terms of either you having a business or even in your 95 career being social can get you that next promotion i'm talking from experience here um so yeah, so the next book is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. It's a must read. I've read it about maybe three to four times, but I've not read it in a while to be fair. But it's one of those books that it's so, it's, a, it's an easy read. That's why you call books like that. They are very easy to read. You don't feel like you're doing too much when you're reading these books. And I believe that it's something that would really, really influence you and help you to get back on track. You know, it kind of talks about how you can start a conversation with anybody in the room, how you're able to present better if you are in a particular type of job that makes you present a lot. This book actually helped me present better, helped me to understand how to read a room better, also helped me understand the meaning of social social intelligence, you know, emotional intelligence, things like that. So it's definitely a must read. And um, yeah, so let's continue. It's 7 a.m., 5 in the morning, I'm going to bed, I'm tired okay. From running a trend, running your mafia, go out and get it again I, I can't it. stress this logic, cause I don't think straight, mind fuck, brain is a mess She just texts my phone, I will answer though, could it time for 7 a.m. There's a YKK, no viz, long five gal deep in a fold escape She asked man why not turn on the heat on the seas door heat But the case got bit <laughs> Cup coin pulling past my man brain Cut my eyes indulging, her face looks fake Her sponsors read like Fenty, proud of Bentley She's going insane, oh, the gal on my mind She run through <sighs> Alright, so Freshened up a bit Um, about to start my consultation meeting that I spoke about Uh, obviously I can't go to these meetings wearing a jersey <laughs> So, or a hoodie. So I freshened up, changed, and um, let's talk about book number three. Okay, so the third book is more around how you want to look at your career or even your business. Okay, and it's the Almanac of Naval, Naval Ravinkat. Um, so this particular book, if you are into, if you are into tech or media, or you're thinking of what kind of career is going to stay, what kind of jobs are going to stay relevant in the next 10 years, in the next, maybe, let's say 10, I would I'll say 20 years, in fact. This book is a very good book. It kind of touches um, the foundations of those kind of things in terms of where the world is going right now, the consistencies that have stayed from the beginning of time till date. There are certain things that no matter what happens in the world, those things are the foundation, those things are the... They are the theory and practical at the same time of how we function as human beings, okay? Until we become robots at some point. These are the things that have stayed across. And there are some of those things that um, Naval talks about in his book, or at least the person that wrote about his opinions puts in that book. It was also an easy read. I think I finished it in about six days. Um, I have a hack on how I, f I read my books. 
so i'll give you that hack just before this um just before this vlog ends so stay to the end um so yeah that's a good book that's a good book the almanac of navarra vinca talks about the importance of technology talks about you know media also has his own opinions on certain things that i actually disagree with now the one thing i need to explain here is no matter what these books tell you take what is important to you and leave the remaining there you don't have to take it as gospel you don't have to take it as the truth or the way of life but everything you need to understand take it from the book and then keep it going i'm just giving you the four books that can serve as some sort of foundation on how to get how i got my life to a certain on a certain track and you know i've read so many books after that but these are the four books that if anybody comes to me and asks, oh, Damini, what four books can I start with? These are the four books that I'll start with. So that's book number three. Have you ever felt like giving up? Because you tried and tried. But for the hundredth time, the stars just won't align. Have you ever had a broken heart? That even time won't heal. Because you'd rather feel the pain than say goodbye I know I have drowned in holy water Had my spirit shaken If you've ever felt like this Can I get a So, yeah, that's over. Um, it was a good meeting. Um, a lot of positives came out from it. Um, oh, I'm a bit tired. I think what I'm going to do is just get something to eat. Probably um, take some time, relax, and then cook. Cook, have a shower. And then we'll take it from there. All right? Cool. So, Chef D is in the kitchen. You know what's about to happen. Um, I think what I'm trying to do, <laughs> hopefully it comes out well, is um, the creamy pasta. So I have my spaghetti, I have the cheese, I have parsley, paprika, ginger, garlic. I think the babe used shrimps. I'm using prawns. I don't know if that's shrimps or prawns. They look like shrimps. I don't know what the difference is. You know, I'll Google it and learn what the difference is. All right, guys. So while I'm putting some finishing touches, <laughs> uh, just remember that I told you guys I'm going to recommend four books. So we've spoken about three, right? Um, the fourth one. So I saved the best for last, right? is more for wealth so this book actually teaches you the importance of wealth creation the importance of you know keeping money for a rainy day investing your money making your money work for you and not being a slave to money right it also talks about that um it's a very common book amongst people that are financially aware right which is most likely and sadly older people 
um, a lot of a lot of younger millennials, Gen Z. It's not a very common book amongst us, and I think it's something that <laughs> look at me calling myself a younger millennial. Hi, <laughs> but I am a younger millennial. Come to think of it, oh, I'm 27. Shit. But yes, I digress. Um, so the book is called Richest Man in Babylon. Um, it's also an easy read. I think what I've what I've done. But uh, I think back at it, I've given you guys four books that are actually not so difficult to read. These are easy read books and books that you can pick up quickly. Um, so yeah, Richest Man in Babylon speaks about how um, a guy from Babylon became a slave, how he ran away from slavery and then began to build wealth, how he almost ate, his, he almost ate himself into failure. But then came out of it you know things like that very very very, very good book very good book um it teaches you the fundamentals of money teaches you the fundamentals of things like investing teaches you the fundamentals of giving people money as well charity um giving up for a charitable cause um things like that good book good book i highly recommend these four books are all easy reads they're not difficult guys these are something that I feel like we can you can start reading now and you can read it in any order by the way you can start reading now and i finished reading it in what four weeks six weeks the four books um so let me let me let me give you let me give an example i typically read one book in i typically read one book in a month so this month this month i'm actually on track i read about six books and this is what this is april and this is just the beginning of april huh so i'm actually way above track and what i do is is very simple once you take a book right go to the last page of the book look at the, what that page number is so let's say the book is 350 pages i'm going to give you i'm giving guys a hack on how i read books fast and i read books to understand not just flip through pages or skim through pages or things like that <coughs> excuse me so the first thing is go to the last page of the book look at how many pages the book has and then divide it by either 7 14 or 30. the reason why i say seven is there's some books that you want to read in one week there's some books you might have to read in two weeks there's some books that you might read in one month i think the almanac of naval um might be the one where a lot of you would keep on reading because there's some things that are so insightful and so impactful that you might read it three or four times just because of how impactful it is so that particular book let's say is 250 or 240 pages you divide that by seven that is about that's about what 30 maybe 32 33 pages a day and you finish it in seven days so that's one book hack that you guys need to know about Taste test. Let's go. Not bad. Not bad. If I was to give it a score of a ten, to be fair, I'd probably give it six. <laughs> I'll give it six because, again, like, I've had this same particular dish. And somebody that knows how to properly cook made it and he banged. So, I have to be honest to myself here. There's, there's work to be done. But six, you know, it's, it's consumable. <laughs> and it's not bad. It tastes nice. I think I'm being too hard on myself, but it actually tastes nice um but yeah that's pretty much it for me guys you guys literally spent the whole day because it's it's dark outside already this vlog started in the morning yeah just there in the morning um so yeah spoken about what the books that you guys need to start reading um recommend any as well i've not read anything in the world right now i'm reading um e-myth revised that's the book i'm reading at the moment um 
and I think it was recommended by Ali Abdal. Big shout out to Ali Abdal. Um, huge guy in the space that I really, really respect. Um, so yeah, read these books, man. Read these books. Let's get let's get stuff cracking. Um, that's pretty much it. If you've not subscribed, you know what to do. Uh, check me out on IG. <laughs> check me out on TikTok as well. My TikTok and IG video, I just be doing some silly things sometimes. Sometimes, not all the time. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Report myself or be hard to myself. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll be seeing you in the next vlog. If you enjoyed it, let me know. If you think there are things that I can change, also, let me know. All right. Peace out, guys.